Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with another fresh episode of MacMost Now. One of the things I want to do recently with my Mac was to have fresh new photos brought in from the internet and then used in my screensaver. So every time my screensaver went on I'd have some new interesting photos to look at. Now there's a bunch of different ways to do that. Let's take a look at them on this episode. So one of the most popular sites on the internet for photos is Flickr. And you can view lots of people's photos on Flickr through some really cool stuff. Now it turns out Flickr also has a really cool interface for getting photos as RSS feeds. So all you need to do is go to this URL here and you can go ahead and get a public feed of various things. So you want to basically copy and paste the URL at, on this page and then add some parameters to it. You do that by putting a question mark and then the parameter. So for instance you put tags equals and then you put moon you'll get lots of pictures of the moon. And the great thing is of course this is all in a RSS feed. So this is a universal type of data feed that we can now plug into something else like iPhoto. So we'll go into iPhoto here and iPhoto has the ability under file to subscribe to photo feed. And you go ahead and you paste in this feed here for Flickr. And it will take a minute and it will populate a photo album basically with pictures from the feed. In this case pictures tagged with the word moon. So now that we have that we can go into our system preferences. In the system preferences we can go ahead and look at the desktop and screensaver. Switch to screensaver and you can choose a photo album from iPhoto including the subscribed photo albums. And this one's called recently uploaded tagged recent uploads tagged moon. And there we go. There are pictures of the moon. We can go ahead and run this and it will look basically like this. We have lots of different options on the display style for the photos. So go and choose those and now iPhoto will pull in new pictures of the moon and you'll get them displayed on your screen as photos in your screensaver. Now there's a little problem with this. Most notably that what happens with the Flickr RSS feeds is it gives you low resolution images. And if you have a nice big Mac screen you're going to get these low res images, the screensaver images, not going to look good. One way you can correct it is go to this website and this website actually will provide you with a Flickr feed that uses high resolution images. And then you can use these as your screensaver and get beautiful images of whatever tags or feed you select. Of course once you're on Flickr you can also select somebody's specific feed like say your own feed or a friend's feed or maybe some pro photographer's feed that always has fantastic landscapes. Whatever you want you can get it as a screensaver just using iPhoto and the built-in screensaver in Mac OS X Leopard. Now I've got two more ways for you to do this. One is to use a new service from Google and you can find it here at this web address and it's basically a screensaver and application that will pull pictures from either Flickr or Google's own Picasa and display them as cool images on your screen. It's its own screensaver in other words. So this is a pretty cool way to do it. And another even more geeky way to do it is use a program called Flickr Fan. Flickr Fan is this RSS reader that will continuously pull photos from different feeds and put them into a folder in your drive. And then you can use the Mac's built-in screensaver to display them in the same way that we did with the iPhoto photos except you select a folder rather than an iPhoto album. Now Flickr Fan actually does a lot more than just this. So if you really need something to handle RSS feeds and serve them out you want to take a look at this. It's pretty neat. So there are three different ways to create a live photo screensaver for your Mac. I can pull all sorts of interesting pictures from all over the internet and put them on your screen. This is also great if you've got a computer that serves as a central office machine or a server or something in your office and it basically sits with the screensaver on all day. You can have it display photos from news feeds for instance or photos from uh, the astronomy picture of the day. Just search the web for photo RSS feeds or something similar and you'll probably come up with all sorts of interesting photo feeds. There's probably more being added every day. So check that out and until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.